Let's take a tour of Bo Weaver's home studio. Inside right now, we're going to find Bo and Maxine. Hi, surprise. Hello. <laughs> Hi. We're just uh, uh, checking out uh, Max's voice on the Sennheiser 416 to see what it sounds like. Now, this is this is just flat, George, mm -hmm. and uh, and then I'll apply the processing that I, I'm going to take that breath out there. Okay. And a mother frantically fighting to save her toddler's life. Okay, the, the processing that I use for the affiliates is fairly extreme, but this is what it sounds like. An alarming spike in sexual assaults at a local school campus. Yeah, that, that, that would adjust that for you. Uh, uh, the, the, we'd pull a little mid-range out. We're about 8, George, for, for that sibilance. The, the 8K, yeah. 8 to, uh, 8 to 9K. Yeah. And uh, for, for you, for me, uh, it needs to be that bright because it's got to mix with the, the music that they use in these promos. So I like it better when it's all loud and obnoxious. Yeah, well, pro that's... That's promo, loud and obnoxious. That's, uh, <laughs> there is a loud and obnoxious setting here, and here I have it. It's like this, boom, there it is. Or I could even make it more loud and obnoxious. Oh, God. That little plug-in there, the Loud Max. It's a good one. I love that thing. And it's perfect yeah. for Maxine. Yeah. Loud Max. An alarming spike in sexual assaults at a local school campus, plus terrifying video of a vicious dog attack and a mother frantically fighting to save her toddler's life. Oh, what depressing news. <laughs> oh, welcome to my world. Uh, you know. oh. The amazing ability to read the news without actually listening to what you're saying. Oh, I think that's I, part of the Definitely. The key. Most of the stuff I do is actually sort of more thoughtful. We're known by a lot of names. In the, the Circle City. The crossroads of America. But no matter what the world wants to call us, to you and me, this is home. It's about the traditions that make us who we are and the people who tell our stories. Damn. That's nice. That's sort of Damn. Yeah. But you can you can hear how nicely that that sort of extremely processed audio uh, sits in that piece of production. That's and, right. You know. Uh, I mean, to my ear, it's not the prettiest sound in the world, but it, it cuts through. It's a common thing for my clients to uh, say, I'd like to sound more like I sound on my demo. Mm -hmm. Can you make me sound like that? And I say, yeah, I can do that. But once you hear your voice without the music and effects and everything, mm -hmm. you're not going to quite like it. It's a little yeah. over the top. And so. um, for, you know, if I'm doing something... Uh, like for a trailer house, uh, for a video game, uh, did a session yesterday, uh, uh, a marketing campaign for a video game. You know, I give it to them completely flat. Uh, it, this particular trailer house is kind of funny. They have a guy in uh, Santa Monica and uh, a guy in London uh, on Skype mm -hmm. directing me, uh, and I'm, but I'm recording it here on this end, but I just give it to them flat mm -hmm. uh, because they, they know what they're doing. But... Uh, a lot of the television stations, even in New York and L.A., they just don't have time to mess with it. They just got to throw that track mm -hmm. in there. So I got to give them something that will, you know, cut through. How does a talent know when they need to do that extra work? Do they just plain and simple ask? You know, do you guys um, know how to engineer? I mean, how do you, as a talent, know? See, pro they don't know what they don't know right. uh, in, yeah. in, anymore. And mostly I have to listen to it on the air. And if I hear... This muffled, uh, flat uh, voice track on the produced promo. Mm -hmm. I say, I'm going to give this to you with a little uh, processing. Let me know how you like that. Oh my God, that sounds great. Okay, I'm going to keep doing that. Mm -hmm. You know, and um, you know, it's been it's been trial and error. But they don't know what to ask for anymore. Right. Uh, and again, I'm not not putting down. Uh, the producers, the, it's uh, these are guys doing six jobs. Yeah. And there used to be, you know, a guy who just uh, did audio, you know, but they're uh, but they don't have that anymore. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that's a cool anyway. little device. That's a new addition. It's the audio interface. George put this in for me, um, and it's it's all in the cool. box, but it's a monitor control system. You know, it it comes. You mean with, it's controlling the, these? Yeah, what I'm listening to, and I can. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, have the phone patch or the ISDN uh, uh, return where I'm listening, uh, 
or one of the other digital uh, connection <coughs> protocols like Source Connect or, or IpDiddle or whichever one I'm using. And so I can hear it and they can hear me. And that's, uh -huh. that's what this controls. It's routing audio as well as no. providing the headphone and the head speaker. And it has a little applet that controls everything, oh, wow, which I still that. only barely understand. You know, uh, but I don't need to because George understands it, and that's the only thing. That Thank I goodness need. for George. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> you know. Anyway, um, but it it is remarkably stable, and even uh, if it crashes, which has it ha it happened a couple of times, yeah, um, it remembers the settings. Thank goodness. You know? Yeah. You know, so it so it still still operates. Mm -hmm. But I've got some keyboard shortcuts in. Uh, Twisted wave that that really work for me, uh, like mute, like in SoundForge. If I needed to take this whole section out, uh -huh. uh, M for mute, right here, boom, out. Oh wow! And um, if I wanted to fade out audio, there's the f the fade in and fade out, uh -huh. sh -sh 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 -sh, like that. Um, so this is twisted wave that you're using right yes, now. Yes, but I've got <laughs> custom shortcuts. Like mm -hmm. if I if I have several promos in a file, if I want to separate them for the producer, I just hit G for generate tone, and mm -hmm. I put a little in there. Oh, so you can differentiate yeah, between so, one and the next. Yeah, so I, I do That's that. Cool. That helps them find uh, the next cuts. Mm -hmm. uh, when I'm ready, to, uh, what I do is I, I have a work tape for that day. I call it a work tape. Uh -huh. Because I'm an old guy, and I remember when we had. I'm going to start calling tapes. mine a work tape. It's a I like linear that. thing, man. and and it and I do linear. all the stuff from from my day. Like uh, I could probably uh, go up to Twisted Wave and find uh, no, I'm a Twisted Wave. Bo, how do you make the um, the custom keyboard settings like uh, in the in the first place? It, uh, it, it's uh, there's a setting in Twisted Wave uh, w uh, under the Edit menu. You can. And you can say for this, for this, yeah, task, for this, I want this. I want to use the X key. Yes. So thing. here's here's like all the stuff I did on Friday, and Jeez. um, you know, it's a lot of stuff. Just another day for Matt and Mick. New Billboard records for CBS this morning for the week of eleven four sixteen and forward. Last updated on Friday. Okay, so like this National Weather Report sponsored by Abreva. Heal your cold sore fast. You know, that's, I do uh -huh. stuff like that for them, you know. Uh -huh. This portion of CBS This Morning brought to you by Vagisil. You know, I'm Great, I'm that, that sounds nice. And those, are, those square things are those yeah. tones, right? Yeah. Now for Tuesday, file wow. 351. Wow, you're so good. I love listening to this. And this is so cool for you to be showing us this. And there's, so if I recorded a bunch of stuff like here and I want to send just this to the client, uh -huh. I highlight it and hit E for export. So mm -hmm. I'm going to say client one mm -hmm. test. Give it a name. Say, oh, they want uh, an AIF file. All right, great. So I save it as that. Boom. Done. And now it's in its own separate file. Yeah. Wow, that's so much faster than what I have to do. So uh, I can also, if I wanted to make a new file with just uh, that audio or this audio, let's mm -hmm. say I could just hit duplicate and now it makes a new file mm -hmm. with it. And every once in a while I have a client that wants stereo. Well, that's stupid. I mean, it's really just two channel mono. Why would you need that? But some <laughs> of them want it. So, okay, I just hit two for stereo. Boom. Uh -huh. Now it's stereo. I love that one. I've showed that oh, to man. numerous people. <laughs> wow. It's just, it's so efficient. Yeah. And I noticed um, you have your custom color scheming. Yeah, I just like the. I, I think Easy it, on the it looks like a little more Mac like, and I like the, and and with you know I I can to me the zoom in it's so easy with just with the magic mouse. Do you I do the same exact thing when you're on the road when you don't have such low room tone. Well, I've got uh, in, in fact in the, uh, uh, the the little effect stack that I use I have a gate and I use it in both places. Now, every once in a while, when I'm recording at home or, or on the road, uh, it's a real soft read. And if you have something that ends with an, an N, like tonight at nine, like a sad story, uh, you know, a kid died and, and it, uh, the tag is not tonight at nine. You know, yeah. it's just tonight at nine. You know, mm -hmm. the child died tonight at nine. You know, and it has to be sort of gentle. The, the N will be really soft. And, and it, you know, it may kind of 
fade into the room room yeah. tone a little bit, so you have to kind of treat that. Uh, and it, here, I will turn the gate off as I process it, so that it doesn't do that. Mm -hmm. uh, but on the on the road out there, it, it, it yeah, I really do kind of need it. Mm -hmm. But Thank you. You can also just very easily just grab a little piece of room tone, um, you know, like this, and copy it to the clipboard and paste it in. Yeah, that's wow. a big thing. Oh, that's really God, well. How interesting. Yeah. It's pretty powerful. Yeah. For a yeah. simple program. Oh, so it's not it's not a production tool. It's just it's exactly what I need to move really really fast. Where I'm doing five mm -hmm. things at once that have to be out right now, right now, right now. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for showing all this. This sure. is so interesting. Yeah, it's brilliant. <laughs> Just seeing it in action, especially, you know, <clears throat> with someone who fantastically knows exactly what he's doing and can do it fast. It's really amazing.